If you found this at a flea market for $80, would you buy it? Let's test it to find out what it is and how much it might be worth. We'll begin by looking at the back of the piece for any clues like purity stamps or maker's marks, and it looks like we do have an 18K stamp on the pendant and a 14K stamp on the chain. Neither are attracting to a magnet, which is a great sign, plus the gold tester is giving us an 18K reading on the pendant and a 14K reading on the chain, so it looks like we do have a real setting and chain. Now for the fun part, let's test the green gems by first measuring how these gems bend like. And it looks like we're getting around a 1.58, which means these could be natural or synthetic emeralds. And we can quickly use polarized light just to make sure these are not glass or plastic imitations. The nice blinks you see on each gem means these cannot be glass or plastic. But we're not quite done yet. These are really looking like emeralds, but we need to examine the inclusions to see if they're natural or synthetic. As far as emeralds go, these are looking pretty clean. But taking a closer look at the center emerald, it looks like we have some natural crystal inclusions. This emerald at the top has a number of inclusions to examine, but I'll just point out this natural two or three phase inclusion because they're my favorite. And I even found a better example on one of the other emeralds here. So it looks like we have natural emeralds and an 18K gold pendant with a 14K gold chain. Now, what's it worth? Right around $1,000. So would you have bought it? 